y'all. Okay, setting up your sublimation printer, part one. Now, this is my new printer. I did order the same one that I already had. It was the ET15000. Um, and this is just my baby. This is my favorite printer. I do have a larger format printer that I really use, but this one is my go-to. Now, it's not my first sublimation printer. It's not the one I started with, but this is the easiest printer to convert. That actually does print the larger sheets. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to set it up. Obviously, you want to take the printer out of the box and you wanna remove all of that blue tape. It's a lot, so definitely make sure you get it all. And then honestly, outside of that, it's just a matter of adding the right ink. Now, there is this really big misconception about converting printers to sublimation and people thinking that it's really hard and it's actually not at all. The only thing that makes a printer a sublimation printer is simply the ink that you put inside the printer. And so if you notice, I immediately put the Epson ink away because we're not gonna use that. We're actually gonna be using Craft & Besties sublimation ink and that is what's gonna make our printer a sublimation printer.